Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to make robo arm and control it using ESP32 module. We will control movements of the robo arm using servo motors. We will send control commands from mobile app using WebSocket or Wi-Fi connection. It also has feature to record and play the arm steps. While playing the robo arm steps, it also sends live servo positions as feedback on mobile app. So let's get started and make this robo arm. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. For making robo arm, we will need robo arm kit. Four servo motors. ESP32 module. 5V AC-DC adapter, it should provide more than 2 to 3 ampere current and few jumper wires. Let's assemble the robo arm now.
Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Fix ESP32 module on ARM base using double sided tape. Connect wires to plus 5 volt and ground to all servo motors. Connect servo motor signal pins to ESP32 module. Now provide plus 5V and ground to ESP32 module through 5V and ground pin. Connect 5V and ground wires to power supply connectors. Let's take a quick look at the code. First we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, preferences and add ESP32 board link. Then go to tools and then boards manager and search for ESP32 and install it. After that we need to install the async tcp and async web server library. Download these libraries from the links provided in the description below. Once downloaded go to sketch, include library and then click on add zip file. Select the downloaded zip library file and click add. Similarly add async web server library as well. Now we need to install ESP32 servo library as well for servo motor control. Go to tools and then manage library. Search for ESP32 servo and install it. Now we need to include the async tcp library and async web server library. Also we need to include esp32 servo library. We have created servo pin structure to store all servo details. 
we have defined pins for all four servo motors if needed you can change it here we have created array of recorded step structure to store the steps while recording it will store servo index and value in it we have declared variable to indicate if recording is going on or recording is being played we need to set the ssid and password for our esp32 wi-fi we have created web server at port number 80 we will be using websocket for robo arm input control then we have created HTML page for our RoboArm control app and stored it in HTML home page variable. This is the main page which will be displayed on mobile app. It has all sliders to control the RoboArm. When any slider is moved on mobile, it will send slider position to ASP32 module using WebSocket. Also if any button is pressed, then the value will be 0 or 1. We have handle root function which will send HTML page when we type IP address on mobile browser. We have WebSocket event callback function which will be called when ESP32 receives any command from mobile. If received key is record then it will set the record step flag. If value is true then it will start recording. If received key is play then it will set the flag play recorded step. Based on received key for servo it will move the servo position by calling write servo value function. We have created send current robo arm state function which will send current values for servo and buttons for mobile app. We have write servo values function which will record the step and also write it to servo. We have created play recorded robo arm step function which will iterate through each recorded step and move servo accordingly. While playing it will also send the servo positions to mobile app. So sliders will show live positions. We have created setup pin mode function to attach the servo pin to servo objects. It will also set servo's initial position. Inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function. Then begin Wi-Fi using soft AP mode. Setup callback function on root and on not phone. Then attach the websocket handler to web server. Now begin the Wi-Fi server. Inside loop function we just need to call cleanup client function to clean up old client connections. Also call play recorded robo arm steps function if play record steps is true. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. Now let's upload the code. Remove 5 volt wire from ESP32 module. Now connect ESP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ESP32 rover module and port. Hit upload. Now connect adapter to provide power. Let's open mobile app now. Go to Wi-Fi settings and connect to RoboArm SSID using password as 12345678. Open Google Chrome browser on mobile and type 192.168.4.1. It will open our RoboArm control app. That's it. Let's see how it works. You can press record button and it will start recording the steps. Once done, turn off recording. Now you can play all these steps. While play button is on, all other buttons are disabled. You can see the sliders are moving live as recording is being played.
Also, if you refresh the app on mobile, it displays the current state of RoboArm. We need to provide proper 5V DC supply to this RoboArm. Should be able to provide at least 2 to 3 ampere current. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.